All right, everybody, this is Operation Iceberg, the round four recap. So, first things first, Japan still has yet to make its breakthrough, and I checked with Hammer Time, and he wants to buy another five dice. So, here's five. Let's see if he gets it. He got two fives there, so Japan's got its heavy bombers. Okay, everybody's active. Uh, UK is the only one yet to reveal their tech. Um, well, technically, Japan and Germany didn't reveal, but we know they have heavy bombers. Okay, this is what the victory points are looking like right now. The Axis have 11. Tokyo, Berlin, Rome, World Oil 4, Warsaw, Shanghai, Manila, Pacific Islands, Atlantic Wall. Uh, actually, they do not have Atlantic Wall anymore because Germany moved its forces out of Norway. So technically, they don't have it. Um, so they're at 10 victory points. They've got Hong Kong as well as the Mediterranean point, which was gained this turn. Speaking of the Mediterranean, this is what it's looking like. Uh, Italy went and took these three French territories and El Alamein on its turn. So that plus the addition of the Germans holding Gibraltar and they've got every, everything else pretty much. That's that's the, uh, the point right there, if I remember it correctly. Um, other news in the Mediterranean is not much. Uh, Britain sent one guy into one of the Spanish territories and the uh, UK Commonwealth train of units continue to make their way up towards Cairo to hold the line. Um, there is an American fighter that flew over from Brazil into the center of Africa. <clears throat> uh, America flew two guys from Brazil over into London, moved its uh, four subs and a cruiser up to 106, built a bomber over here, so... That's the Allied action over there. Uh, Germany uh, moved its the bulk of its whole force into the Slovakia and Hungary because the Russians started off over here in eastern Poland. Um, in response, the Russians took Romania and Poland and also took the two Iranian territories, backed its whole force up into Belarus, and moved all its most of its fast movers up to Leningrad. So see what's going on there see what germany does in round five other than that germany just bought another bomber a destroyer and the rest infantry so that's it um over here in the pacific as expected hammer time moved his uh bulk bulk of his naval fleet from caroline islands and then from season 39 to java uh, after we knocked out two of his bombers in Sumatra, but he also flew two down here. So he got one here, one here in Sumatra and Java. Looked like he's uh, going to plan for um, a bombing raid on Calcutta. Uh, the Chinese and UK hordes uh, in Anhui and Yunnan are stationed there. Uh, this is, The newer development is Anhui, so we're right on the doorstep of Shanghai. Uh, the Yunnan stack has stayed put, so... Um, other than that, um, Anzac backed up into Sydney, flew another fighter to Malaya. Their fighter from Malaya went to Calcutta. The, uh, Japanese forces on Ceylon are stuck there for now because there still is a British, uh, aircraft carrier there. Um, so yeah, the fleet is here. Um, the Americans who were in season 54 at the start of their turn, they moved everything up to 26, moved their new battleship from 10 into 26 and then their carrier and three subs and transports from alaska down to 26 so big convergence of naval force built more subs over here in the pacific japan built um the only combat that happened in the pacific was that japan had three subs and two destroyers here in six uh the u.s had a sub in 15 and two subs that were convoying in 6a Went ahead and revealed my super subs tech, attacked it, um, used the tactical from midway, went one, two, three, did a target select, um, was only able to knock out three subs. So lost all of it and it wasn't really worth it, but oh well. The Russians uh, stepped up to a mer. Looks like we're going to have some action here. And uh, that's it. That's it. Round four. Uh, round five. Bound to see some key positioning take place. And everyone's got their tech, so can't wait to get it started. I think Hoofbite should have Germany up pretty soon. Take care, everybody.